There are places on Earth so isolated that life evolves in ways most people will never see. Small villages hidden in mountains, forests no one enters, radiation zones left untouched for decades. And sometimes those conditions create real biological mutations that only exist in those remote corners of the world. One group of people can naturally stay underwater far longer than almost anyone else. The bio of Southeast Asia live their lives on the ocean and rely heavily on deep diving. When researchers studied them, they found a hereditary mutation in a gene that enlarges their spleens by up to 50%. Larger spleens store more oxygenated red blood cells, and when they dive, that oxygen is released into their bloodstream, letting them stay underwater for minutes at a time. This mutation appears almost only in this group of people, not in neighboring populations not in similar coastal groups, a real modern example of human adaptation shaped by isolation and lifestyle. During an extreme drought in the Amazon, people started seeing dolphins turning unusually bright pink. Pink river dolphins normally have a soft, rosy color, but in Lake Tefe during the 2023 heat wave, researchers documented dolphins with intense full body pink coloration. The mutation appears linked to heat stress and blood vessel expansion near their skin. Younger dolphins showed the effect the strongest, suggesting a developmental trigger. Some dolphins eventually faded back to normal colors, others stayed bright. It is one of the clearest examples of environmental pressure creating rapid visible changes in an isolated species. Most people struggle to breathe at high altitude. Tibetans thrive there because of a mutation almost no one else has. A gene called EPAS1, inherited from ancient human ancestors. It prevents blood from thickening at low oxygen levels. This lets Tibetans live at altitudes that would leave most people dizzy or sick. The mutation is incredibly common in the region, but extremely rare outside of it. It is one of the strongest known cases of of inherited human adaptation preserved because of the harsh and isolated environment of the Tibetan Plateau. In a remote region of Kazakhstan, generations of families began noticing the same disturbing pattern, birth defects, growth abnormalities, and unusually high rates of rare cancers. There was a test site that was the Soviet Union's main nuclear testing zone for decades. Between 1949 and 1989, more than 400 nuclear tests took place there. Some were underground, but many were atmospheric, sending radioactive material drifting straight into surrounding villages. Decades later, researchers discovered something alarming. People in these remote villages showed genetic mutations passed down through multiple generations. Some mutations affected bone development, others altered immune function, some increased susceptibility to diseases not normally seen in the region, and these people here never evacuated. Many did not even know that they were living in fallout, so the mutations accumulated slowly and spread within families. There's nothing supernatural about it, it is simply the long-lasting biological impact of radiation exposure combined with extreme geographic isolation. Inside Central American mangroves lives a fish that does not need a partner to reproduce. The mangrove killifish can self-fertilize, producing offspring that are nearly perfect genetic clones. It evolved this ability because the swamp pools it lives in frequently become isolated or temporarily uninhabitable. When a pool dries or becomes cut off, a single killifish can repopulate the area once conditions improve. Very few vertebrates on Earth can do this. It is one of the strangest real reproductive mutations ever documented. Researchers deep in the Bornean rainforest found indigenous families with bright blue eyes and no European ancestry at all. Genetic testing showed the Dyak groups do not have the same blue eye mutation found in Europeans. They developed an entirely separate mutation that created the same trait through a completely different genetic path. This rare case of convergent evolution stayed preserved because the communities were extremely isolated for generations.
populations. Wolves living inside the Chernobyl exclusion zone are bigger and genetically different from wolves outside the region. Scientists found mutations related to immune response and DNA repair, which help them tolerate constant low-dose radiation. Wolf populations inside the zone are also estimated to be dramatically higher than outside it. The mutations were not engineered. They were developed naturally as the wolves adapted to an environment with no humans and persistent radiation exposure. A small coastal region in Japan saw an outbreak of severe developmental disorders caused by industrial pollution. From the 1930s to the 1960s, mercury-contaminated wastewater was dumped into Minamata Bay. When pregnant women ate contaminated fish, the mercury disrupted fetal brain development. Babies were born with a syndrome now known as congenital Minamata disease. This was a developmental mutation, not a genetic one. It changed how the brain formed in utero, caused entirely by environmental exposure in a geographically isolated community. In one of the most remote mountain regions of Siberia, researchers found sheep with unusually dense skull bones. The isolated snow sheep of the Putorana Plateau showed mutations affecting bone development. Their skulls and horn bases were noticeably thicker than normal, likely an adaptation to harsh cold and heavy predation pressure. Because the herd was cut off from other populations, the mutation strengthened over time instead of being diluted. In one remote region, of South America, an entire population developed a mutation that allows them to survive something that should be deadly. In parts of northern Argentina and the Atacama region, local drinking water naturally contains high levels of arsenic, some of the highest on earth. But instead of widespread poisoning, researchers discovered something unexpected. People in this isolated area carry a rare mutation in the gene AS3MT, which dramatically increases the body's ability to detoxify arsenic. For most humans, arsenic builds up in the body and causes organ damage. For this population, the toxin is processed and expelled far more efficiently. The mutation is thought to have developed over thousands of years of exposure to the contaminated water supply. What makes it truly strange is how localized it is. Populations just a few hundred miles away do not have this protection. It is one of the strongest real examples of humans evolving resistance to a natural poison. All right, guys, that's been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and I will see you again soon. Bye!